when I saw this question on the comment section during one of my live video, I remember the story of Lisa and Jake. Lisa and Jake had been dating for a while. Everything was great until Lisa started having this bunny sensation whenever she peed. So she went to the doctor to find out what was happening and she discovered she had chlamydia. At first, Lisa was shocked about how she got it. But anyway, she decided to treat it with some antibiotics. The doctor gave her some antibiotics. She had these antibiotics and everything went. Everything went totally. Then months again, Lisa experienced this same bony sensation, went to the doctor and was given antibiotics. But this time, it was her and Jake that were having this bony sensation. So this cycle kept on coming and going. The treat it's gone, the treat again. The treat is gone, the treat again. Until this particular treatment was no longer working for Lisa and Jake. I mean, these antibiotics that was working perfectly well for Lisa and Jake when they started this treatment was no longer working for them. While they were busy taking these antibiotics, they didn't really understand that there could be a negative side of taking antibiotics regularly to treat STIs. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. On this video, I'm going to be talking to you about what happened when you continuously treat STI. I'm talking about both the male and the female, and also what you can do as an individual to stop treating STI practically every month. So the first thing that happens when you continuously treat STI, it's antibiotics resistance. Yes. When you continuously use antibiotics, the virus, whatsoever infection you are treating, be it bacteria or viral, this bacteria or the virus becomes very stronger. Yeah, they become strong and they, you might find it difficult to get it cured. For example, you were using a mild antibiotics before. Before you know, the mild antibiotics is not going to work and you need a stronger antibiotics. And sometimes when you continuously use these antibiotics, it might end up not working for you again. So that's what happened to Lisa and Jake in such a way that the antibiotics they were using for treatment was no longer working because their body has built resistance to that particular antibiotics. The second thing that can happen when you continuously treat STIs is fertility problem. I know you never knew that. I know you never saw that coming. Yes, fertility problem can result from frequent STIs. For the women, it can result in what is called pelvic inflammatory disease. And this pelvic inflammatory disease can affect the fallopian tube. And for the men, antibiotics can affect your sperm quality. And when your sperm quality is affected, you know what is going to happen when you try to give birth. The third one I have to share with you is weakened immune system. The more you take these antibiotics, the more you take these medications, the more you continuously treat this disease, the more your immune system gets weakened. Generally, as a human being, our body is meant to fight. It's meant to protect us. It's meant to fight infections. It's meant to fight whatsoever is affecting us. So when you keep taking these antibiotics, your immune system becomes weakened. Your immune system is no longer as strong as it used to be. Then the fourth thing I have to share with you is long-term pain and discomfort. Long-term pain and discomfort can result from untreated or poorly treated STIs, such as gonorrhea and chlamydia. You might experience this pain in your lower belly or your brain. And sometimes this pain will not go away even after treatment. Then the fifth point I have to share with you is higher risk of HIV. If you treat STIs frequently, your body is more vulnerable to more serious diseases such as HIV. 
V. You heard me right. Your body is more vulnerable. Damaged skin and weakened immunity make it easier for virus to enter your body. When your skin is damaged, your immune system is no longer strong, it makes it much easier for damage to enter your body, to, for more serious illnesses to enter your body. Your body can no longer fight because your immunity is strong, is now low, sorry, as a result of the antibiotics you keep getting. Now the question is, how do I stop this cycle? How do I stop getting STI continuously? So the first thing I would like to share with you is finish all your medication. What do I mean by that? When the doctor prescribes a particular medication for you and tells you, take this for seven days, morning and night, or take this for seven days daily, make sure you finish that medication, make sure you finish that prescription. Even if you are feeling better, continue using that for that particular seven days or three days the doctor is going to tell you to use it. And secondly, if you are a lady or a man, you are treating yourself, it is very important for your partner to also treat themselves. Did you get that? If you are treating yourself and you are not treating your partner, you are going to get it back. So while treating yourself, it's advisable you treat your partner. And it's also advisable for you both to stay away from sex during that course of treatment. You heard me right. It is advisable you stay away from sex, if possible, during the course of treatment because you both will just keep reinfecting yourself over and over again. Then the third point I have to share with you is if you have multiple sex partner, it is very important for you to limit your sex partner. Stick with just one person, preferably, and you both know your STI status. It's very important. Then the last key point I have to share with you is use protection every time because your health is paramount. Use protection every time because your health is paramount. And in conclusion, what do I have to say? If you notice that you keep treating STIs repeatedly, that is to show something is wrong somewhere and a change needs to take place. Because if you continue in this manner, it's going to cause more serious complications to your health. And when you fall E and you need a particular antibiotics or a particular drugs to get it treated, your body might be resistant and treatment might become difficult. In some countries, for example, the country I am, they don't give antibiotics anyhow. Yes, they are very, very strict with antibiotics. They can give you all the painkillers you need, but you see antibiotics, most times they want to be sure that there is a bacterial infection before they give you antibiotics because there is an increased rate of antibiotics resistance in the world today. So that is why they have been conscious with antibiotics. And if you are in a country where there is no strictness when it comes to antibiotics, please and please, this is me begging you to not take that antibiotics without doctor's prescription. Not to take those antibiotics without doctor's prescription. And while you are taking it, make sure you complete your dose. Because I've seen ladies back home that when they are having this inchy, the first thing they do is to get antibiotics and take I think this bicham ampiclos, they call it. And also, when a lady has sex with someone that they don't know, the next thing, they've got bicham ampiclos, they're taking one dose and they feel they are purified. So please and please, you are only succeeding in making those bacteria and virus in your body stronger in such a way that it is difficult to cure them or to kill them. All right? <laughs> Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also, don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. Bye, and see you in our next video.